So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, keeping you there, using the body weight effectively so that you can't get up or use a hip escape. This guy will sap your willpower with the best of them, and more often than not, guys, just have to give up and, and wait for the round to end. Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion, and he remains one of the best lightweights not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the king for the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most exciting fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just outrank you. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, he's moving up to 155 pounds. He's put his best foot forward. And he draws yet another elite lightweight in the spot. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Merciless. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! Herb Dean, our third Ready man in the octagon for this Ready. one. Let's do it. All right, so here's the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Dustin Poirier, the future Hall of Famer, believed he would have a decided striking advantage in this matchup. We'll see if he can get the hands going here early in this round. There by Poirier. Punch got blocked there. Push kick there to the body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155, I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Massive head kick! All right, so oh. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Guess the single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Just missed. With the oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the first spot. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, 
back and forth we go. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good. But didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and that was a close back. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he's... Oh, no! in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Pretty good head kick there. This is big. That's big. Oh, nice combination. Land a solid kick right there. Nice job blocking that punch. Power right hand there from the King of Las Vegas. And as it's chin been tested early. Now, DC, we'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, he's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Nice crack there. He's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Nice right punch followed by a left. Three minutes to go in round two. Leg kick is there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like... That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just misses with a left hook there. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Got him hurting here. Oh! And the front kick there by Poirier. Oh, 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 oh. on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds here. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round on the way. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Good block. Continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it... Oh! oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marshall Les. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.